So here we have this lovely question that I love so much. We are told that one out of every three boats produced by a machine is effective. If four of the boats produced by the machines are selected at random, we have to find the probability that exactly two are defective, at least one is effective, or at most two are defective. This is a classical example of what is called the binomial probability. And the formula that is used to express this is n combination r multiplied by the pro probability of success raised to power r then multiply by the probability of failure which will now be 1 minus p if p is success then 1 minus p is failure raised to power n minus r now i'm going to interpret this so this is the probability of getting r successes on n repeated trials in an exercise that has two possible outcomes and this formula is actually fitting our question perfectly because we have our two possible outcomes to be that is either the boat is defective or the boat is not defective. So we are looking for R successes out of N repeated trials. So now that, that will fit exactly into our question. But we need to note, okay, what is the case of um, a Sussex and what is the case of a failure? For this particular question, we are being told that um, we have um, some boats that are produced. Some may be defective. Some will be non-defective. So we can take the defective as failure, the non-defective as success, or we can even reverse it as I'm going to do here. So I'm going to say that the probability of selecting a defective boat, that's um, the P, probability of D, probability of selecting a defective boat, is going to be, we are told that one out of every three boats is defective, so that would be one over three. Then the probability of selecting a non-defective boat will now be 1 minus the probability of selecting a defective boat because of the rule of probability. The sum we add up to 1. So that will now be 1 minus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3. So if you want to use the binomial probability in this particular case, like the first question is quite um, straightforward. We are told that we have to find the probability that exactly two boats that are picked out of four are defective. That means we are going to be having two boats that were picked to be defective, two to be non-defective. And already we know that the total possible outcomes is four because we are selecting two out of four. So that will give us like four combination, two probability of having defective raised to power two, then probability of having non-defective raised to power four minus two. And that is what we are going to do exactly. So, the probability that exactly two of the four boats are defective will now give us now we have two out of four, alright? So, that will be four combination two because our N, the total number of outcomes is four. We want to pick two cases out of it. So, we have four combination two multiply the probability of defective raised to power 2, then probability of non-defective raised to power 4 minus 2. And we are to just evaluate that. 4 combination 2 is 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. Then multiply by the, what's the probability for the defective? That's 1 over 3 raised to power 2. Multiply the probability for the non-defective. That's 2 over 3 also raised to power 2. So if we are to I spread this out, I can just say this is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 4 minus 2 is 2, so we have 2 factorial, then 2 factorial is 2 times 1. The 2 factorials will cancel out, then this I can multiply with 1 over 3 raised to power 2 is 1 over 9, 2 over 3 raised to power 2 will be 4 over 9, okay? So if I'm to multiply all that out and cut as appropriate, as you can see, that will give me 8 over 27. That is the probability of selecting exactly two boats that are defective. Again, question number B, we have to find the probability that at least one of the four boats selected is defective. Now, let's interpret this question. That means that we're having four boats, okay, but at least one of them is defective. I've always been telling us I'm an advocacy for working smart. We don't want to be trying to evaluate situations in which uh, one is defective, two are defective, three are defective, four are defective. No, we don't need that. So if you are to pictorially depict this, 
let's say in this first case we don't have any that is defective being represented by the red ink then in the second case we have one that is defective being represented by blue in the second case we have two that are defective being represented by blue then two non-defective being represented by red and on and on like that now we can see each of these scenarios all right but the case in which we are going to have at least one of the boats to be defective are the second to the last scenarios that are being shown in um, the box they are being boxed together these are the cases in which at least one of the boats is defective all right i use blue to represent the defective boats here so this implies that the probability that we need to get is 1 minus the case in which none of the boats is defective. The standalone case, the one to the left, is the case in which none of the boats that is selected is defective. So instead of just taking the probability for each of the four cases, you can just say it is 1 minus probability that none is defective. So if you want to bring in our formula, so we have none is defective out of 4 that is 0 is defective out of 4 that will give us 4 combinations 0 multiplied by the probability of defective which is 0 okay raised to power 0 then multiply by the probability of the non defective over in this case which is now 4 i hope we I, i'm trusting that we just get this because it's quite easy if we take our time to understand this so if you bring in our formula um expressing 4 combination 0 as 4 factorial over 4 minus 0 factorial 0 factorial then probability of the defective is 1 over 3 raised to the power 0 then non-defective 2 over 3 raised to power 4 so now if you want to just write this out this will be 1 minus 4 factorial over 4 factorial 0 factorial is 1 so we don't need that 1 over 3 raised to power 0 is also 1 then multiply by 2 raised to power 4 is 16 3 raised to power 4 is 81 so that will give us 1 minus 16 over 81. And we are to express that that will be 1 minus 16 over 81. And that will give us 65 over 81. Just noting that we can use 1 minus probability that none is defective out of 4 will help us to solve this. Instead of taking each cases in which at least 1, at least 2. No, we don't need to follow that track. So in this C scenario, we are told that at most 2 boats that are picked are defective again let's just find this as a very good means that we can use to interpret it we are told that of course there are four boats but we are having we are asked to ask the probability that at most two of those boats that are picked are defective okay now just like we are doing in the other case i will also draw out all those case scenarios in which at most two of the boats are going to be defective so we are going to have that stretch out now so we are told at most okay so let's draw those case scenarios in which you can have at most two out of the four are defective so i have in this case all all blue i'm using blue to represent those that are not defective they are okay so blue is okay in this case okay so for this first case we are saying that all are all, all of them are good all of them are not defective okay so in the second case scenario let's have a case in which um, one of them will be defective so we have three blues and one red okay so yeah we have that one out of four okay just only one out of four is defective and then in the third scenario let's have that just two in this case now we are going to have two out of the four boats to be defective so we have two the two in red are defective the two in blue they are quite good they are non-defective so here we have this is the case in which we have at most two are defective all right so the probability that we are being asked to find will be the consideration of these three scenarios because initially none is effective in the middle case one is effective in the last case that is the maximum that's the point at which we have the maximum defective to be two so we are going to have to get the probability of at most two are defective we'll have probability of none is defective okay plus the probability of one is defective and three are not defective okay plus the probability that two are defective and two are non 
defective. So we just need to plug in our combination formula for the binomial probability here. None is effective will be four combinations, zero into probability of defective raised to power zero. The probability multiplied by the probability of non-defective raised to power four. So once we have that plus the probability for one is effective will be four combination one now because we are having one to be defective. Multiply by the probability of the defective. Defective will now be one. Multiply by the probability of non-defective now to be three. You can you can notice this is just like the binomial expansion. In the third case, we have probability of two are defective, four combination two. Multiply by the probability of defective raised to power two. Okay. Multiply by the probability of non-defective raised to power two also. So this is what we just need to um, open up. Four combination zero is just one, just like we found in the previous question. Then one multiplied by one over three raised to power zero, multiplied by two over three raised to power four. Okay. Plus for combination one, well, we can just we can also work that out. I did that is four. So we can say if you want to show the working for combination one is or four times three factorial divided by four minus one is three factorial, and then we can see that that will give us four. Then four combination two is four times three times two factorial over four minus two is two factorial, then multiply by two factorial. The two factorials will cut out. And this will give us 6. So we can just plug in those values into the equation straight. Okay. So we can have plus. This is 4. 4 multiplied by probability of defective 1 over 3 raised to power 1. Times probability of non-defective 2 over 3 raised to power 3. Plus now 4 combination 2 is 6. Multiplied by probability of defective 1 over 3 raised to power 2. That's probability of non-defective 2 over 3 raised to power 2. So, I'll just simplify this. 1 times 1 over 3 raised to power 0 is 1. Then 2 over 3 raised to power 4 is 16 over 81. 2 raised to power 4 and 3 raised to power 4. Then in the second case, we have 4 multiplied by 1 over 3. Then 2 over 3 raised to power 3. That will be 8 over 3 times 3 times 3. That's 27. All right. Okay, and the last case in which we have 6 multiplied by 1 over 3 raised to power 2 will be 1 over 9. 2 over 3 raised to power 2 will be 4 over 9. Now, I don't want to cut out because the same base will apply to all the 3. Now, we have 8 times 4, 32 over 81. Okay, and the third is 6 times 1 times 4, 24 over 9 times 9 is 81. So, if you are to add... 16 and 32 and 24, 16 plus 32 plus 24, that would be 72. So we have 72 over 81. I think 9 can go in, in both numerator and denominator. So if I divide by 9, this would be 8 and this would be 9. So the probability of getting at most two of the both to be defective will be 8 over 9. What an interesting question. That's all we're going to be having for today is Dave Tooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification icon, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones, share with your relatives. And together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.